Hello there, travelers of the world. I hope you are having a super great day. Today, uh, in this video about Kennedy Space Center, you'll see us traveling towards Kennedy Space Center or Cape Canaveral as it is called on a very beautiful day. This is a return trip to Kennedy Space Center and we enjoyed it so much in the past. We always come here when we are in the area. So as we travel south from St. Augustine, which was a great discovery and I highly recommend to everyone to go to St. Augustine if they are into history and before traveling to Palm Beach and Everglades we decided to stop here at Kennedy Space Center once again. The entry fee is rather expensive, is $50 plus tax per person purely because they don't receive any grants from the federal government as they say and uh, after uh, passing the rather uh, fast security queues. We uh, reached us in the past the rocket garden with lots of rockets from previous missions and then we went fast to take our bus. Why? Because this bus tour takes you all the way from the Kennedy Space Center visitors complex passing um, the vehicle assembly building and the shuttle landing facility and seeing in the distance the SpaceX landing zone one, the Mercury Atlas shuttle uh, well, uh, rockets, uh, the SLC-19 Gemini and Apollo plus Delta IV, uh, SpaceX Falcon, Atlas V, SpaceX uh, Heavy and SLS uh, rocket. Uh, also, there is an observation gantry called LC-39 and my gosh, uh, you have to take this bus tour. Not only you can see this, but in the area there are lots of alligators, lots of wildlife. So you'll see lots of alligators sunning themselves near you on the bus. You can't walk here, you only have to take the bus. And then uh, you reach the area where the Apollo Saturn uh, Center is. This area again is just great and uh, I wish <laughs> I stayed there for ages. It is that uh, beautiful. However, pressurized by time, there was only that much we could uh, do and uh, stay a certain period of time. Um, so, as I said, you can't disembark when you are taking the bus, but you can see everything here uh, at your own pace. Also, there is uh, some rather great um, there are places where you can eat, so you can do lots of activities. You can also meet uh, an astronaut. And after done with this, which is introduced with a very nice um, video presented in front of you, then you uh, see anything you want to see, the amazing shuttles, which are just great, as you saw there, and are simply amazing. Then we, what we did, we took the bus and went back to the visitors area in order to see the Atlantis um, space shuttle. Uh, you'll see on the wings is written Canada. Why? Because some components apparently were made in Canada. Again, this is introduced with a very inspiring uh, video and presented on a huge screen just like at uh, uh, Apollo and Saturn, Saturn uh, Center. And then you can wander at your uh, own leisure. You can even pop in a rocket, take your own pictures and uh, just have a great time. There are also uh, two IMAX theaters there and um, there is a children's play dome, uh, nature and technology area. You can even purchase items like cups or uh, clothing if you want. So it is highly recommended. And on top of that, not only you can see all of this, but you can have uh, a talk with the heroes and the legends, the previous cosmonauts. So you can have a lunch uh, with an 
uh, astronaut. Uh, well, that's it really. So uh, I really hope this inspired you in doing the same. As I said, we are very, very fortunate to be on a very nice day. And you know what? Surely we'll be coming back here again in the future. Uh, for more information on this, uh, why not check the links underneath this video and see where I tend to write my reviews and impressions. And uh, the video ends with us traveling southwards, as I said, Palm Beach and then stopping at Everglades. And, uh, well, you couldn't... Uh, here, the noise is the jets were making above us. As nearby, there is um, an airspace and uh, belongs to the Air Force. And these guys are doing some amazing uh, just twirls and rotations in the air. I mean, it's just great. It's not no wonder people are stopping to or watching them and you're thinking, oh gosh, I wish I had that possibility. Just like Harrison Ford in his movies to take your own shuttle and depart and travel from one planet to another. I know, I'm dreaming. This will be possible probably like in several hundreds of years, 500 years or whatever. Right, well, there you are. So hoping you enjoyed this video. Keep in touch with me. Check my next videos and have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.